Arts now. Tomorrow night, the Columbia City Council will vote on whether or not to approve the Columbia Police Department's request for a real-time crime control surveillance system throughout the city. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Hannah Falcon. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell joins us live after she's been covering the implementation process of this system for months now. Layla, tomorrow's vote could really go either way as some of the council is in support of the system and others say it has no place in Columbia. Yeah, Hannah, the FUSE's real-time crime control system will allow police to have access to surveillance cameras across the city, of course, with prior permission from the camera owner. And yes, like you said, I've covered a lot of city council meetings, and while the Columbia police believe this would help them solve crime more efficiently, there's people in the community that say this would be an invasion of privacy, and they believe it would have a negative impact on the community. FUSIS is used in more than 150 cities, and now Columbia police want to bring it to the city, saying it will help them more efficiently crack down on crime. FUSIS would not add any more security cameras to the city, but would give police access to ones already there. The system would allow police to have immediate access to surveillance cameras in real time to review video footage. Columbia Police Chief Jeff Jones said having to door knock to get access to people's surveillance footage is strenuous and wastes time. On November 1st, CPD officers and FUSIS representatives met with local business owners and community members to answer questions about the software. A week prior, Columbia's Downtown Leadership Council voted in favor of people using the software, but not everyone is in support of FUSIS. Residents passed out a booklet labeled the case against FUSIS at the last city council meeting. The booklet argues other police departments already using the system have not had it long enough to understand the impact on the community and says there is no evidence FUSIS improves city's criminal case clearance rate. First Ward City Councilwoman Pat Fowler and Third Ward Councilman Roy Lovelady have pushed back on FUSIS at several meetings. Concerned about who the system will target, Fowler and Lovelady requested that CPD do outreach sessions with the community to get input and create policy. CPD's policy on FUSIS states the Columbia Police Department will not allow live stream for cameras at individual residences. And after concerns and questions from the community, the policy says access to the FUSIS video platform is strictly controlled within the Columbia Police Department and authorized personnel. Authorized personnel will be required to attend initial trainings prior to being given access to the platform. And the meeting will take place tomorrow night at 7 p.m. here at City Hall. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Layla. The Columbia City Council will also first read a $9 million plan to upgrade South Columbia's congested Highway 63 and Grindstone Interchange.